Here's another question from the UK Maths Challenge Junior Challenge and with permission from the UK MT I'm going to go through it now. You might want to try it first and see what you get and then check it against my answer. I usually find that fun if I'm trying the challenge. Um, let's go though. Five identical rectangles fit together as shown. What in centimetres squared is the total area which they cover? Now, here's what I'm doing. I'm looking at that and I'm seeing that they are identical. So this side here, for example, would be the same as this side here. And these two sides add up to 15. And we're trying to find the area. I tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking X's and Y's. You, you might be wondering what? X's and Y's, this is like area, what are you talking about? X's and Y's, I've gone crazy. But here, let's try it out. This might not work, it might be really embarrassing, but let's have a go anyway. I'm going to call the long side here X. There we go, little X. I'm going to call the short side down below Y. That means this would be a Y as well, because it's this short bit of the identical triangle just sideways. This bottom bit would be a, an X. This bit would be an X. This is fun. Let's just label this an X. And then this would be a Y. This would be a Y. And this would be an X. OK, what do we know? Well, we know that X plus Y equals to 15. X plus Y equals to 15. What else do we know? We know... Hmm. We don't know too much, really. X plus Y is 15. And we're looking for the area. Now, we could try out different numbers and see which ones get this. But I think we can do something even cooler than that. If we look along here, and we see there's two X's. Then look along here, and I'm seeing three Y's. And I'm thinking, this is a rectangle. So this is just going to be the same length as this. They're the same width apart. So what I'm thinking is that two X's plus three Y's. Actually, wait, two X's equals three Y's. Yeah, that sounds right. Two X's equal three Y's. Here we go then. That looks to me like a simultaneous equation because there's two of the same letters in different places and they both all equal things. So we have two different equations. Don't get put off by the title though of simultaneous equations. It's actually, all it means is that the x up here is the same as the x down here and the y up here is the same as the y down here. We just have to solve it using both equations. What I would do is maybe get x on its own down here. At the moment we know what 2x is, but let's half both sides. Half of 3 is just 3 over 2, or 1.5 if you prefer. So 1.5y. So if 2x is 3y, then a single x is 1.5y, or 1.5y. I just divided by 2 to both sides. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Now, if x is 1.5y down here, then it's 1.5y up here. That's the whole point. They're the same x's all the way around, same y's all the way around. We're talking about the same thing. So if x equals 1.5y, this x up here equals 1.5y. And then, as before, it, you add y to it, and it equals 15. Notice I've just simply replaced that x with a 1.5y. 1.5 plus 1y is 2.5y. So we have 2.5y equals 15. We can quickly double both sides just to get rid of those decimals because those decimals are a bit confusing. And you can always multiply by, by 2 or by 10 to get rid of decimals. So let's multiply by 2 just to get rid of those annoying decimals of 0.5 times by 2 times by 2, 
So if 2 and a half y equals 15, double 2 and a half is 5, so 5y five must equal 30. We're almost ready. What would we do now to get y on its own? We divide by 5. Divide by 5 for both sides. And 30 divided by 5 is 6. We divided by 5 and divided by 5. If y is 6, then this y is also 6. So we have x plus 6 equals 15. And that means x would have to be 9. We found out what x is and what y is, so now we need to find the total area. The total area of the rectangle is the height times the width. The height is 15. The width is 2x's. x is 9. So 2x is 18, and then we have 18 times by 15. Now, there's many different ways of doing that. I get it to be 270. 15 times 15 is, two, is 225, and the, we've got three extra 15s, because we're, we're actually doing 18 times 15, and 3 times 15 is 45. 45 plus 225 is 270. But either way, if we use it, actually we can't use a calculator because it's a UK math challenge, but you could do the long way if you want of 15 and 18 here. So 5 times 8 is 40. And put the little 4 up here. 8 times 1 is 8. Add the 4. That's a, two, that's a 12. So put 2 down here and a 1 here. Second row is a 0 because it's a 10 now. Cross out the 4. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1, adding these up, 270. Whichever method you use, the coolest bit of this question, you've got to admit, was the x's and the y's and the equations, and using equations to solve a real-life challenge.